This is uh, Notes from the Underground, it's my new uh, etching. It's a, a four plate etching and relief print, um, which has been uh, done in a manner of a ancient folding map. You can see there. Um, and uh, the idea was to, uh, to do it for the 150th anniversary of the London Underground. And it contains references so that are specific to every one of the 270 stations. The idea originally came about because uh, um, I had done a series of drawings of specific characters on, on stations uh, uh, which were appropriate for them. So things like um, Napoleon at Waterloo Station and uh, so forth. And a friend was looking at these drawings one day and said to me, oh you should do one for every station on the underground. And so the work on this project began. Um, I went along to, uh, to get some inspiration. I went along to this uh, uh, exhibition called Mind the Map at the London Transport Museum. And uh, they had um, a whole history of all of their different, of the different maps and the different uh, um, ways in which they had done them over the years. The, um, the decision to make this a folding map came from two uh, considerations. The first was merely a practical one, because um, we work on a, on a 26 inch Rochat press, and uh, there's no possible way that we could print this on one sheet of paper on that. So the decision to, to then join the pieces of the plates up and, uh, and print it on a single sheet of paper would have necessitated Sanju and I going to another studio, and neither of us really wanted to do that. Um, so we decided to print it on uh, individual plates and then join them up afterwards. But the second thing is that I actually really like folding maps. Um, I've got a, an 18th century uh, folding map of London at home on my wall. And I really love this. And, uh, and, and I, I like the idea of this being like a working map. You know, of it feeling like a working map rather than just a piece of wall art. So then the consideration was, how do we actually print it? Well, it's because there are 10 different colored tube lines and a river and the, uh, the, the individual little drawings all have to be inked up separately. Um, it's a 12 color etching, which if we were doing it on separate plates would have meant at least four plates for each one of the sections, possibly more though, in some cases. Um, and it just seemed like too gargantuan a task to be dealing with that many pieces of copper. So we decided to, to run the lines, the colored tube lines, through one time and then do the larger plate afterwards. So uh, the, the decision then was made to, uh, to do the tube lines, to cut them out of pieces of plastic acetate and roll them up individually. Um, now the acetate allowed, because it's thin, it allowed us to run them through and they could overlap, the different lines could overlap without damaging the press or the, uh, or the plates or the press bed. Um, and, uh, and, so, and the larger plate is, uh, um, is just a copper plate that's done with a combination of aquatint and, uh, and hard ground etching. Now the 270 references um, were the thing about this project that took me the most time. There was quite a lot of research involved. Um, and some of them, they are quite random, and some of them have just ended up being jokes, such as uh, um, the woman with the beehive hairdo for High Barnet Station. Um, and, uh, you know, East Ham and West Ham are, are, are just, you know, blatant little bits of, uh, of cheesy humour. Um, but uh, I don't think there's a single reference in there that is so cryptic that no one would be able to get it. Although I have had a complaint about Bounds Green from someone um, who said that, that they, they couldn't possibly get that one. And that one is... I've got a little flying saucer for Bounds Green, and it's because the 1970s rock band, a uh, heavy metal band, UFO, were formed there. But you'd have to be a real muso to get that one. Um, but all the rest of them, I think, are actually you, you, not so cryptic that you wouldn't be able to get them. But I won't, uh, I won't tell you any more because I think it's nice if you figure them out on your own. It's half the fun.